Hello and welcome back! If you follow the channel, you know that I have a thing for the olden mechanical plotters from Hewlett Packard. And of course, anything vintage HP in general. Like in this old episode where I misused an HP 7225A plotter, currently my only working plotter, to plot an anime picture from my HP 85. It's a children demo favorite. I have a few more plotters in the restoration queue, but thanks to viewers Frederick Groofman from Sweden and Robert Moon locally, I just got the model that I didn't have, and on top of that, this one just plain works. So here goes a little yes. demo. So today we are going to do a quick video about the HP 7475A plotter. It's no secret to you that I love HP plotters. Uh, but this one actually came from viewers. Uh, I had donations from actually two viewers. Robert Moon and uh, Frederick Groofman all the way from Sweden uh, that allowed me to assemble that whole system and uh, from Sweden I got that incredible box of HP pens uh, because of course the bane of these is that you have to get pens that work and uh, I have another video on how to rejuvenate those uh, but here we go I'll make a little demo of it so to load this one, there is a little line over here. You line up the paper and you get the whole little lever down. And off you go. I think I leave that open so you can see. Uh, to fetch a pen, uh, let's fetch pen 3, the red pen. We press 3. It rolls, that's normal. Gets and three and then you can go to P1 as a lower left and P2 making sure you're well centered. Now to get pen three back in you do enter three. There you go. On this one there is a little demo program that's in it and to launch it you turn it off, press P1, P2, turn it on. Graphics improves communication. Oh, my cells are gonna go up. Just a little bit of sales, but it's going to get better. Change pens. I have to uh, make it a little bit bigger so you can see the pen change. Pen change. I know that the fill is different on each of the colored bars. Like the, the crosshatch is finer at the bottom than the middle, and then on the last one it's not crosshatched. And oh darn it! I have to wait until 1982 until my cells start to grow. So he's doing cross hatches, so he has to think a little bit.
And you can even do solid fills. Very nice. And look at that, even admin made some revenues. Incredible. There you go, I think that's a very neat demo. Graphics improves communication. There are several versions of these, including the uh, um, probably more common HP IB, uh, which interfaces better to uh, HP computer, of course, but here is the serial version, and I didn't have to make the cable for it because uh, Frederick sent it to me from Sweden. So all you have to do to connect to a modern computer is to get this in the right orientation. So it's the same, you have the same problem as USB. There you go. And you're connected. And on the computer side of things, there are still a few programs that support it. Uh, this is a DWG TrueView 2013, so an old version of AutoCAD uh, that's still works with it and you can plot it using I set it up somewhere 74 75 there you go not very good at figuring out what to plot but once you do that you're fine and then the difficulty is to get it to plot in the right colors so it's over here, so let me check that I have them correct. Okay, similarly retain my previous settings. I just have to swap one pen. I have to take that little carousel out. And this one should be the yellow. And the yellow tends to turn into some kind of dark color. This one's still yellow. Here it has a little cup. And then you put it in there and turn it until it goes and you are done. Apply to layout and go. It seems to be happy, grab the yellow pen. more brown than yellow. The HP 7475 is way faster than my HP 7225, but still. I'll speed it up a bit so we can get to the HPGL section before falling asleep. Yell in the comments if you want the full original speed sequence in a bonus video. I 
that's it, it's done. There you go. Very well done, HP Plotter. But one of the beauties of this machine is that it speaks HPGL. So all you need is actually your terminal and then you can send it graphics commands. It's a serial terminal connected to the printer. IN initialize. Now we'll have it identify. Oh, I see if I'm connected. Yes, it answered 7475A. Let's take pen 1, SP1. Oh, except I have the wrong pen in there, so I do SP0. And I will get the pen back in. Okay. Try again. SP1. Okay, that's the black pen. So I'm going to set it as 130 max on the X and 100 max on the y which is actually should give me a grid that square pa 10 100 space yeah so that did work and over here uh well it you can of course draw lines but it's it's a little smarter than this you can do a label label and oh You can hardly see it, but it, it wrote hello. So let's make it bigger. S I 0.3 high, 0.3 wide, 0.45 wide. And let's take another pen, label, hello. Ah, no, that's better. So now we're talking. And it's, it's actually a typewriter. Awesome. This is a typewriter. Oh, I made a mistake. Type a T writer. Let's change directions. D R one minus one. So that will have us go at minus 45 degrees. We are going down. Get that. Okay, let's get out of that. Control C. Let's be four. Somewhere there. Circle. 15 units in radius and 5 degree in resolution. And here I chose 5 degree arcs. Yeah. Rectangles. This edge absolute. So let's see if that works. Okay, that's a rectangle. But let's do a cross hatch. You have to do fill type 4, which is cross hatch. So hatch is line separated by one unit and at 45 degree angle. And now if I do a fill rectangle, which is RA command, I should fill it with a little cross hatch. Let's do a wedge. Diameter 20 uh, goes from 0 to 135 degrees with a 5 degree resolution. See what that does. I have to think a bit because it's cross hatching a wedge. And that's hard for the poor thing. Ooh. And that just does the inside, so I have to do the outside, and the command is EW for whatever reason. They are all very short mnemonics, but they are not obvious, you have to look them up. And I should draw the outside of my wedge, here we go. You can do 
dotted or uh, dashed lines. We are going to do a dash, that's L LT line type 2. LT. There you go. So if I do line type with no arguments, we to get back to the default. You can also use the circle command to do hexagons and stuff like that by just specifying a large resolution, so it's 60 degrees segments. So that should do an hexagon. There we go, that's easy. And we start our pen, SP0, and we're done. So <laughs> you, you get the idea, right? It's really, really easy to uh, control. You just need a serial connection. So that, that would be a real neat project to hook up to an Arduino and start to do some Arduino art on it. So thanks again to uh, the viewers, Robert Moon and uh, Frederick Grofman. And uh, give a hand to the HP7475A plotter.